Okay, let's talk about this. So I just did some off-roading with Land Cruiser, and I want to talk more about Land Cruiser versus 4Runner. I can't quite drive the 4Runner yet, but I was confused, maybe you're confused. Why would you buy one or the other? And Toyota's event staff and PR team was telling me, they see it as different customers, and they see the vehicles being different, which I think when you see them side by side, it really stands out the differences. And I have some footage I can show you that on the screen. Early location, so doing the best I can. <laughs> let's talk about this uh, TRD Pro 4Runner. And I just like the angle lines a little different. I just want to back up a little bit and show you kind of the front end looks. Land Cruiser front end. You can see like not so much of the body molding on the side, more linear there. You can see on the 4Runner, a little more body molding on the back of that rear fender. Grill. So it is spelled out a little bit higher, lower on that Land Cruiser. And then this versus the truck, you can see the Tacoma versus the, uh, Forerunner, you can see the Toyota lettering down, a little bit different styling there. We have black bars here. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of this piano black on the outside of exterior of vehicles. I'm not sure why off road vehicles come that way, but they do. Um, it has that nice sand color to it. Uh, the interior is almost carbon copy with the Tacoma, as you'd expect. Same idea there, big grab handle. This is a pro, so it's got that big grab handle. Um, the Trail Hunter and stuff have a little different exterior. We'll talk more about that. Some cameras and drive modes. Is that one of the interesting things that I was thinking this morning, kind of weird, is the sticker A is on backwards. I don't know if put this on. But also that the payload is 895 pounds. So that means everybody in the cabin and passengers, everybody shouldn't weigh more than 895 pounds. It's kind of interesting how, well, frankly, low that is. Um, I'd expect a little bit higher payload rating. We'll shut that door. Coming back to the rear seats here, right? So I'm curious about the fold up. They fold up at all, they don't. So the rear seats don't fold up at all. They do tumble forward though. I read that in the press release. Let's we'll see if we can make that happen. So they tumble, tumble upwards. There is available third row seating in the 4Runner. I haven't seen a model yet without, if I get a chance to look at that, I will do it today. But yeah, fold up seats, not really much room back there. And then we'll come around and look at the rear. And this has got the iconic roll down window. People love that aspect of, to, we have TRD Pro down there. I like that TRD Pro down there. I like that styling. Toto there, open that up. Big Taylor tow hitch there. Good spots for connecting your wiring, right? If you do tow. Uh, this had a shelf that came out, which I don't see the shelf now. I used to have, there's an option for the older foreigners to have a shelf coming out. So you have like a little picnic table. Um, we do have some cup holders back here. The idea would be third row pastures back there if you have a third row seat. 120 volt, 240 watt hookup there. That's nice to see for camping or off roading. Hook up a cooler, a portable cooler back there. Hook up some whatever you're using for camping supplies. I want to check out that front end or the side, excuse me, in the front one more time. I'm just gonna watch my stuff. This is uh, pretty gnarly. Gloss black. So in the, yeah, in the Toyota lineup now on the TRD Pro, they're spelling the words out here. Let me know, let me know down below. Do you guys like them spell out? Don't like them spell out. Interesting. People have different thoughts on that, whether they like that or not. And we have the red stitching there. I don't have the ISO. ISO Pro seats, that uh, isometric seats in the Tacoma in this, just the regular seats in the 4Runner. And if you saw the TRD Pro, you'll know what I'm talking about. And we'll, they'll have more videos on this channel with that. So let me close that door. So there, and that's that iconic throwback glass piece. It just, it's kind of molded in like a windshield. It looks like a more of a windshield kind of look to it for that glass. So that is that setup. So it's interesting to walk around and see these things side by side and say, you know, which one would you buy? Which, which off-road version you buy? Land Cruiser, Tacoma, 4Runner. Okay, so back here with the Land Cruiser, we can see the Toyota badge there. We can see the, the round headlights, it's kind of FJ Cruiser kind of style. And then we'll come around the side. We have the windshield, right? I think you can, this little bit, visibility is interesting in this one. Let me show you the, the from the driver's seat, right? And the reason for that is you have this dash is up. So you have, it's not as amazing visibility as I thought. And behind the wheel, it definitely feels like it's more blocky, more square. Um, I have some cloth seats here. 
lots of capability as far as the center locker, rear electronic locker, the different full drive modes, downhill assist control. So all the things you'd expect. It's just interesting, this is the 1958 model, so it's the entry level. We have a smaller screen, we have the HVAC system, and yeah, it's not as plush as the old Land Cruiser, which is fine. Price points down a little bit. 1,100 pounds of payload. Hmm, interesting. 1,100 pounds of payload. So uh, you can see the differences between the styling, right? Forerunner's got the throwback window. This has got more of a linear window there. We have the second row seating. Okay, so I feel like this is about like the Forerunner second row seating. Nothing stands out to me as being, wow, so much more room or something. We'll come around the back, and I'm curious, I've never actually, this op oh, opens like this. I'm used to the old door. Um, in the back, yeah, we don't have about the, well, I guess I would say about the same as 4 runner. It's about the same sizing. Um, we have a little storage bin here. We have a battery in here. That's why that doesn't open. And the 240 volt back here, 1200 watts. I like more power in the rear. Okay, and then no controls there. <laughs> Manual. Okay, let's talk through some specifics on these two vehicles and talk more about off-roading and driving them. Well, I drove the Land Cruiser, can't drive the 4Runner quite yet. However, my friend Joel Stockdale over at Autoblock put together this really interesting chart. Uh, we'll kind of go through this. Left to right, we have the old prior generation, I should say, Toyota 4Runner. We have to the right, we have the new 4Runner with the gasoline engine, 4Runner with the hybrid Max, or iForce Max with the hybrid engine. And farther to the right, we have the Land Cruiser with the hybrid engine as well. Looking at engine, transmission, drive plane, power torque, they can do. If we just kind of focus all the way to the right when we do a hybrid 4Runner versus a hybrid Land Cruiser, which we've seen in the Tacoma and Tundra will probably be your higher trim levels will be your hybrid will be the off-roading, more off-road kind of vehicles. We have more torque. We have more horsepower than we do the gasoline versions. But for the Land Cruiser and 4Runner in the hybrid, they're the same. It's the same engine, same eight-speed automatic transmission. Now, the difference with the Land Cruiser is you get the full-time four-wheel drive. In the 4Runner, you have a couple different choices in four-wheel drive, part-time or full-time. Uh, looking at the length, the length is about a foot difference. Uh, the land, the 4Runner is a little bit longer. The wheelbase is the same. The width is about the same. The height is quite a bit different. And so it's six inches shorter for the 4Runner. And the ground clearance is about a foot difference for the 4Runner and seating capacity. So the... Land Cruiser only seats five, while the 4Runner can be had with that elusive, for me, third row seat. I don't see it very often. People don't talk about it very often, but you can get that in that model. Okay, let's talk about off-road driving with this Toyota Land Cruiser. I was behind the wheel, not this shot, but I did the same track of land with Land Cruiser team there. And I can tell you, it's the same capability you find in other Toyota vehicles. You're really good capability as far as off-roading. You have all the different features too, right? So you have the four-wheel drive system is just not enough. You have KDS system, you have crawl control, you have wheel articulation here, which is really cool. Look at how much wheel that is coming off the ground, right? I have the rear ear locker. I have just a lot of capability in this Land Cruiser, the same kind of capability I've had in the 4Runner. Toyota is almost like overkill with off-road capability. It's, it's almost like you're confused what to use in the trail. But this thing, is, it, it reminds me of the old FJ Cruiser. It really does. It, uh, in behind the wheel, it's very much a very blocky design. Inside the cabin, as you've seen in the video, is very blocky, very looking uh, block inside. It's got pretty good horsepower and torque. It can handle this off-road course, no problem. I'm not concerned about the power delivery. I am a little concerned about just some of the wind noise I experienced uh, driving around a little bit. It just felt like it was a little bit maybe unfinished to me. And, you know, talking with Toyota staff there, they were like, you know, this this newer Land Cruiser, we totally expect people to modify this thing, build an own off-road rig. They're basically giving you the palette to take to that and make your own thing, now, the artist palette. So you draw your own picture of this. You draw your own cool off-roading thing. I do like the overall look. Um, again, like I said, it, I think it's going to come down to looks. I think that's what Toyota is telling me is that it's going to come down to looks. How, do you like this one look versus the Forerunner, the way it looks? Uh, looking at price point, the beginning price point, Land Cruiser is about 55000 for the base model. We do not have pricing yet for the Forerunner. However, if that runs the same kind of pricing that Tacoma has, we're looking at the coma pricing, which is coming out next week. Um, I don't think it's that much difference. I think you're going to find maybe three, four thousand dollars difference between Four Runner and Land Cruiser. It's going to be a really tough choice for black consumers. And so I think it's going to be interesting. I mean, my drive partner and I were discussing as we we're driving around why is Toyota even building these two different vehicles? Land Cruiser is an iconic nameplate, no doubt about it. So is Four Runner, and they're both really well built vehicles. And it's like well built, well capable, well 
regarded as far as heritage. And it kind of came down to this. Because they can. <laughs> because Toyota is one of the world's large automakers. They can build whatever they want. They can build multiple vehicles that look like they're slotted in about the same. And they do. And so, yes, I uh, I, I wish I had more time uh, reading other people's videos, watching other people's videos, reading stories. It was very, very brief drive. I can't wait to get this in highway speed. I want to hear what the cabin sounds like. I can't wait to see what fuel economy numbers are. I can't wait to see what they're all, you know, when you you, you get to marketplace. I can't see, wait to see them like sitting around dealership lots and things like, does that look, you know, does that old FJ Cruiser kind of look, is that still appealing to a lot of customers or have you guys moved on? So interesting stuff. So there you go. There's the details on this toy Land Cruiser. You can watch this stuff all day long like I can because it is a lot of fun. <laughs> So uh, for more, check out the videos on this channel over here. Website down below as well, pickuptrucktalk.com. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.